Hey y'all, it's me, Barbara again at Crumble Cookies. Cookies and chill is what this says. This is the comfy that they sell. They sell one in black and pink. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now listen, I'm not sponsored from Crumble Cookies and I'm not, ugh, I get not sponsored by the comfy, but th these things are divine. I think it was a rage a couple of years ago. I love it. Look at, oh, <laughs> it was in the 20s this morning, you all. Look at this. Oh, oh, look at, I'm a big gal and it's comfy for me. I love my comfy and I am not kidding you. I wouldn't, I won't sell you a bill of goods, but um, anyway, I'm looking at my hair. <laughs> anyway, who cares? Um, It's morning. Oh, you all. I'm doing the third mystery cookie this week and, um, and we'll get on with it. Okay. Um, ooh, the whole car's shaking. Woo. I'm shake, rattle, and roll. Shake, I feel good. Do, 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 do. I'm probably driving you crazy already, and you want to just see the dark cookie. Barbara, please show us the cookie. <laughs> Here we are. Little crumble cookies, mystery cookie. Oh, it's just fun. I tell you, crumble cookies knows how to do it. And I got to tell you, oh, there's so many things I want to tell y'all already from this morning. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to let you look. Dee, 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 dee. I can't get it open. Dee, dee, dee. You know what that is? Could you figure that out? If you figured it out, let me know in the comments. Uh, that was a fast look. But anyway, for those of you who are really uh, crumble cookie connoisseurs, the fan club and all, you, you know. Okay, here you go. Dee, 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 dee. Can you see what that is? That is the cookie butter. Uh, it's the cookie butter white chip featuring Biscoff. Biscoff, Biscoff. Do you guys know what Biscoff is? I didn't know what Biscoff was until I started doing crumble. Biscoff is a company, I think it's from uh, Belgium, if I'm, I could be wrong. Now, you know, I mean, you can look on the internet. But anyway, from what I understand, and it's, um, it's like a spread, and I always thought it was peanut butter based, but there's no nuts in it. It's just cookie crumbs smashed up, and then they say the hint of caramel, caramel, and cinnamon. Now, you know, I have never tasted the cinnamon in Biscoff. Maybe I have and I've forgotten, so we'll find out when I try this. But those Biscoff cookies, well, you'll see it on top of this cookie. They're like this. A lot of people like to dip it with their tea, with their tea or their coffee. Or, but the Biscoff spread you can put on like ice cream or put in your cake batters and icings and oh, I don't know everything. But you know, it's like the Nutella business. Well, Nutella. Not that. Now we're talking my language, Nutella. <laughs> You all, it's been cold. I see frost all on the ground over here. Oh, it's wonderful to look at the mountains because they'll be like gray-brown, and then all of a sudden, like the faraway mountains that are higher up are like all white. Oh, the beauty of winter. The beauty of winter. Anyway, so, you know what I'm going to say? You know? How are you doing? How, really, seriously, how are you doing? Um... I love when somebody hasn't been around and then they come back. Never apologize. You have a life. It's fine. You know, I'm just here doing my thing. <laughs> I hope you're doing your thing. Anyway, um, okay, so the Biscoff cookie. Let's let's take a little closer gander at this little baby, this little puppy. It's a warm cookie, you all. Oh, it's a party cookie. This is a fun cookie, you all. Now, let's see this. Look at that. Oh, yeah. See the little white chips? It's a warm cookie butter cookie packed with Biscoff cookie pieces and creamy white chips. Now, I'm going to tell you up front. I'm gonna st I might start doing this. I haven't decided. But this one cookie is 680 calories. So you cut it with the cookie cutter into force, and then it's 170 calories per quarter. Um, but, you know, don't let that alarm you or stop you because... First of all, if you're going to a bakery, I don't think you're counting calories. Now, the other part is, is that there are a lot of cookies everywhere. Like, there's a cookie, I think, at Panera, and it's like the kitchen sink or something. I don't know, but that thing was like 1,100 or 1,200 calories. I could be wrong, but there, there's some cookies that are really high up there. But you know when you go to a bakery, you don't go, how many calories are there? Because they usually don't know because it's a local bakery. But anyway, but... Um, it smells divine. It's nice and warm, especially right here. You can already feel the crispness on top, the crispness on top of the cookie, but you know it's going to be a little soft too. I love the white chips. I don't know. That's just heaven. Okay, let's take a bite, right? See the white chips? And then you can see little cookie piece right there it really surprised me that it's not made out of nuts 
the cookie does have milk, eggs, and soy, and wheat in it, just so you know. Um, I really like this. Now, I don't know if I'm just in a good mood or what. One out of ten, one, you're going to get sick on the side of the road and everyone here speaking of it again in ten. You can't stop thinking about it. You're going to tell your friends and go back for more. I'm giving it at least an eight. But it may be climbing to a nine. I have got to, I was, I had started several times making Excel spreadsheets and all. My, I don't have a computer, so I've got this iPad and, oh, everything's different now. You know, they have pages and all those different things. I just like an old Excel app. But anyway, and I was going to start to record so I can kind of compare. Because my, my, my scores sometimes change a little. But when I've tested something more than once, I'll average the number. But, um, I got to get with the program. But I'm living my life, people. I gotta live my life. <laughs> anyway, yummy, yummy, yummy. You all, we, I spent such, I had not seen Rebecca over at the manager over here. I hadn't seen her in months and, and uh, I keep missing her. And anyway, I was just talking a mile a minute. That poor woman had things to do. And I was just talking to her like we were sitting down for a cup of tea, <laughs> a cup of coffee, a cup of ice cream. And, just couldn't stop. My mouth kept going. I go, I got to go test. I got to go taste test this cookie. <laughs> oh, wonderful. I like this cookie. You all, if you like a, a mellower cookie and you're not a chocolate lover, or even if you're a chocolate lover, this is like a mellow cookie. Maybe there's a hint of cinnamon, but I think I'm imagining that. I mean, they say there is, but I don't know if I would truly taste it. It's a little, not tacky, tacky, a little titch of tacky on the top of the mouth. But not bad at all. Should I take another bite? I'm trying not to take. Look at those white chips, you all. Nice. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, baby. Oh, you know. So this morning, I was driving on the parkway. Dark outside. Now, I don't see very well at night. But where I drive on the parkway, there are no cars there. There were maybe one or two. But I kept thinking I was going to see an animal or something, you know, early in the morning. But I was driving. It was real quiet, and I had nice music on, and and I was thinking, and you know, the, it wasn't the sun rising, but you know, the, the color of the color was coming up in the sky, <clears throat> and I was thinking about that because it was so dark, and then the lightness of the sky behind the trees. The trees looked so dark, and I was thinking about darkness, and I was thinking, I'm going to share this with you. I, I don't know about how much I'm going to talk about, about cookies, so if you don't want to hear about cookies, you might want to go. But anyway, and <laughs> tally ho, thank you for coming. But anyway, I was driving the Parkway, and. I was thinking of that word dark and darkness and how our society has um, kind of murdered that that idea that, you know, black, you know, that whole white hat, good guys, black hat, bad guys, and all that stuff, you know, and just, and to really, tr as a society, try to start not only befriending, but loving the idea of blackness and darkness, you know, because it is so beautiful. And and I was thinking about that, and I was thinking about in my darkest days, whether it's physically or emotionally or mentally, my darkest days, I have learned so much, or there's some wisdom. And at the time, I go, I'm not learning nothing. I just got to get through the day. But when I look back, I go, whoa. And I was thinking about how in the soil, you know, where, where all the trees and flowers and shrubs grow, it's all dark down there. But it's so rich. You know, the darkness is rich. And I think the nighttime is rich. It's just like, you know, and you go, I'm afraid of the dark. But then it's just like just one little, one little candle, one little light, one little flashlight, one star, you know, makes you feel safer. But sometimes not to look for the light and to sit in the darkness and go, okay, and, and really feel it and try to feel the beauty in it. I've done that. And even in my hardest, hardest days of my life, there were sl tiny slivers of going, oh, like the wonder and the beauty of that time. I don't know. It's just a thought. <laughs> and I got a lot of thoughts. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I just, I, I've just been sitting with that thought. I don't know. It's nothing big. It's nothing new, I'm sure, to you or to anybody. But um, it was another level of going, cow, life and growth really happens in the darkness. Now, that's not always true. We know that. You know, I'm a big believer. I always taught staff members and people, you know, you can teach with joy and, you, you know, children can learn through fun. And they really can. 
You can be silly. You know, I'd have people dress up and, you know, like, was it Groundhog Day? Oh my goodness. They did a whole, we had did a whole play and, and, um, um, oh, the President's Day. The, oh, how the staff, they were so awesome. Um, they, they all dressed up as different, um, presidents and they had contests and they had different groups of kids and they had flags each each group of children had teams and the volunteers were with them and the staff members played out the weird facts of the fun facts of different past presidents and it was weird stuff that I didn't know like was it Lincoln kept his notes now I don't know if this is true but apparently it was Lincoln kept his notes for his speeches in his top hat and then there were just all fun facts and it's fine like that. I wish that when I was growing up, I had a, um, I had a history teacher that shared some fun facts, you know, because then I would have been hooked. But and mine were pretty darn dry. I just struggled to stay awake. But then I went to Europe as a young adult, and then it woke me up, going, "I am ignorant. I have got to pick it up and learn." You know, and reading. And then, then meeting people and learning some fun things. Of course, on the internet, you can look up fun facts of history or, or silly things or weird things about history. And that's what's so amazing nowadays. I mean, the minds and the brains of the younger generations have got to be, you know, quadruple R's, if not more. <laughs> anyway, I am talking too much. Okay, the Biscoff cookie. Yum, 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 yum. Crumble cookies, fun, 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 fun. Crumble cookies have mystery cookies. Different mystery cookies all week long. So this one here in South Asheville is going to be here for the rest of the week. So um, yum, yum, yum. Nice warm cookie. If you like um, sugar cookies, vanilla cookies, if you like um, cookie, this is like, it's got the creaminess of that white chip in there, you know, and the Biscoff cookie. Let me show you that Biscoff cookie. Oh, it's stuck in the cookie. I can get it out. So it's like that. Say Biscoff. Biscoff. Hi, Biscoff. Anyway, I'm sure no one from Biscoff is watching this thing. But anyway, but um, anyway, and I am not sponsored again from Biscoff or from Crumble, but they did send me this comfy when I had been out sick for a while. Wasn't that nice of them? Oh, you guys, it's so yummy. It's so yummy. Um, and apparently on um, Black Friday, I think it was, which is another good thing, um, <clears throat> they had their their merch on 70% off. So if you're dying for something and you can't afford it, just wait till next year. <laughs> anyway, you all, I hope you're enjoying the holiday season. It's getting crazy. It just kind of hit me this morning. I'm like, oh my goodness. Next Monday is the last crumble before Christmas because Christmas is on a Monday. And I'm like, I got to get it going. I got things to do. And so I got to leave you. And I hope you have a good day. And if you're struggling, oh, God, it's it's the worst over the holidays when you're struggling or you're, or you're hurt. You know, we can get triggered up easier um, over the holidays. So please be gentle with yourself and try to do something nice for you, okay? And until the next time, happy holidays. Eyes try to sing happy trails and the happy holidays words. It didn't work. <laughs> you all take it easy. And until the next time, bye-bye, you all.